can't play if you bite Koopa. We don't ever want to bite our friends. Don't, don't, don't bite your friends. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I feel like that was a little snippet, a little piece of advice that needs to go find its way to a special someone over in the Minecraft YouTube scene, right? Uh, we're talking about Wilbur Soot. Wilbur Soot, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm I'm probably going to lay into this and uh, I'm not going to lie. If you want me to start like cussing and, and like stuff like that, because I want this channel to grow, I'm going to lay into him a little bit more in about three minutes because uh, I'm not allowed to do that with the first three minutes. That's not the point, though. Let's, let's, let's get into this. He was biting people. Wilbur Soot, the, the content creator, was biting people. Like, this isn't like... I'm seeing people say he was an abuser. Essentially, I mean, technically, yeah, he is an abuser the way he was acting. Um, but I think people are focusing on the wrong thing here. Uh, he was biting people. Like, that. that's not like a... That's not like a normal, like, adult thing to do. He's like 27. He's... Why the... Why is he biting people? What? What? Is, what? And it's not just his ex, which has kind of stirred the pot on this whole thing. Uh, him and his ex broke up, and shortly thereafter, she came out and was like, Hey, uh, he bit me multiple times, and that that was it. I mean, that's, I couldn't deal with that. Uh, I'm going to play the clip here, and then I'm going to lay into why I think the people may be focusing in on the wrong thing. And it wasn't fine, because I would go home later, and I tell him how uncomfortable I was, how much I didn't like being hurt all the time. And I needed him to really stop biting so hard. I didn't like it. And I tried telling him over and over again because he wasn't actually trying at all to not hurt me. Um, but he said he would try at first. And then he started saying things like, it was my pain tolerance that was too low or I'm exaggerating how much it actually hurts. He's not even biting that hard. I'm, I'm being dramatic. Um, but his biting escalated to a point where I was covered in bruises all over my arms. Now that was a, uh, a snippet from a uh, content that was from Shelby, his ex uh, in question, the one he bit. Now, this isn't the only person he had bitten. There's multiple others, but we'll, we'll get into that. We'll, we'll get into that. Uh, f my my first question, and I'm I'm gonna apologize for ahead of time for a possibly an outrage that's that's coming up here. Uh, but it, I feel like it really need the question really does need to be asked. Why the fuck are you biting people? I mean, it's it's not like, it's like, oh, it's just a little, like, oh, one person saying that he was biting me. No, there's multiple people saying that you bit them. What the fuck do you mean you're biting people? You're a grown-ass man running around biting people? If this is true, which I, I'm getting the impression that it is based on how everything's going, and I'll elaborate in a moment, um... What the fuck are you teething? What are you a fuck? It's not. It's not like he's like a like a raccoon with rabies running around the fucking neighborhood, biting the little like fat ginger kids running around and shit. Why the fuck are you biting people? What the fuck do you mean? He's biting people. No one fucking stopped him. What the fuck? Like he's so he just bites. Like that's not like a normal human interaction. I'm just gonna stop it right here. Even if it's softly and someone does that shit to me. Bro, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm doing one of two things. I'm fucking throat chopping you, or I'm calling the police. Uh, that's not like a normal thing for a normal human being to be doing out in society. And I don't understand how we're getting to the point where all of these content creators are coming out to be like fucking freaks. And like, you, you know, you ever play GTA 5? You know, like the, the strangers and freaks missions and shit? Like, what the fuck? It's like a Wilbur Soot was added in as a fucking DLC character, and he's just running around fucking biting people. What the fuck is happening? He's just running... It's not... Again, it's not like he's some animal with fucking rabies, and I, I'm very surprised that I I didn't even notice this shit was going on, but I don't really follow, like, Minecraft, stuff like that. But, like, no one was, like, really saying anything. Like, hey, um, there's been, like, three people to say that he... Uh, say that he bit them. Is this guy fucking running around biting people? 
Is this, <laughs> is this guy need to be on a watch list? Like, what the fuck? This, this, this is unfathomable to me that some dude who's uh, collabing with all these other creators and stuff and they're meeting him for the first time and he just grabs their arm like he's a fucking... like the, the shits from The Last of Us and he just fucking chomps one of them. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? You guys just talk about this shit like it's normal behavior. That's not normal. That's some shit a fucking psychopath does. Man, someone throw this guy in a fucking padded cell. Like, and I'm talking full isolation. Give him a fucking dog toy or at it since he wants to be running around biting motherfuckers. Now, let's let's reel it in a little bit here because I feel like I might have got a little ahead of myself. But I, I, I had to kind of get it out. That's just how I feel. Like, that, I, I couldn't really resist having that a little bit of an outburst because like i said before that's not like a like a normal thing at all when you meet someone new or something for the first time or you're dating someone like i've seen i've seen like those really you've seen those really cringy pictures where like the like the couples will leave indent bite marks on each other like some like absurd type of shit uh yeah no uh we're not doing that all right what are you two fucking zombies and it's basically like he's just basically just abusing her. I mean, that's that's where the abuse word is coming from primarily because he also uh, would joke about it to his friends. She goes on to elaborate that he would joke about it to his friends. He would poke the bruises on her arms that he would leave from biting her. Yes, biting. And that's like, well, we're such a fucking like a, a zombie or some shit. You ever play Plants vs. Zombies? That's the shit, by the way. You guys should definitely check it out. I love fucking Plants vs. Zombies. But we're getting off track. This is, it's its an abuse situation, and she was just like, I, I'm gonna head out. Uh, I'm not really getting bit by a fucking weirdo anymore. And, uh, yeah, the relationship ended. Now, here's here's the clips of all the people saying that they bit, that he bit them. Like, and I, no one was alarmed earlier. Uh, <laughs> what? To me? Yeah. He keeps biting me. Yeah. I actually will, uh, will bite me sometimes what? and I get so many bruises all the time from him biting me. <laughs> I thought you were saying that you bite people. <laughs> no, Will bites me. Will hurt me more with biting. Will the cert has bit me harder than that. Yeah. He just bites everyone. He bite you. Now before I get put on a uh put on put on the uh hot seat, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right here and shut it down. Before anyone tries to say, like, I'm making a mockery of an abuse situation, because it is, I'm just going to be 100%, it's basically just abuse. It's its not, like, normal behavior. He was just biting her and making fun of her and uh, actually hurting her. And, you know, they, they, they split as a result, which is actually great that she didn't feel uncomfortable to talk about it. That As many people have been speculating, and I myself have speculated, that there may be other content creators that he's done this to, and they're just uncomfortable with the idea of speaking out about it and and i get it i i really do because it's a situation where you know you kind of have to like maybe you feel like you have to brush it off and joke about it just to avoid confrontation or something that you don't want to deal with because i'm going to keep it a buck 50. the minecraft viewership community are like them some of the most insane people i've ever seen on twitter i'm not even exaggerating when i say that you you may find like uh, like just actual super hateful people or a racist or a, an actual like uh, I don't know a, a radical political party or something right they don't come close to this shit like we're talking if you say something bad about one of their favorite creators doxed you got two seconds till your address shows up on Twitter I'm not even not even joking you can start it you can set a fucking stopwatch and set a timer and go ahead and see how long it takes because it won't take long but uh let's let's uh let's get into the apology part because obviously given everything that's happened uh we had to get another we had to get a little youtuber apology we had uh, of course that's just the way it goes and this one pretty much just confirms the suspicions even more makes him look worse because he he straight up admits like hey i was an asshole I'm appalled by the accusations, but I was an asshole, yes. Getting into it on the uh, official Wilbur Soot Twitter right here. Uh, in the past week, a series of allegations have been made over my conduct from an ex-girlfriend. I want to emphasize that although I feel it fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. I have taken my time sharing this statement. 
<laughs> as I wanted to process and respond respectfully and the hope to gain a deeper understanding for the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex-girlfriend, and I've since sought therapy to address these behaviors, making a significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past actions. I have come to realize that uh, I've come to realize how much my past behavior hurt this person, but I truly compassionately believe I have made great strides from the person I once was. And hope I can continue to grow and improve on this trajectory. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, he makes this he literally just make this about himself. Uh, that's pretty obvious. Uh, let's, just, let's just get into this a little bit further before the actual apologies. Actually, we get to the actual apology because there's nothing. The allegation of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Hmm, that's weird because we just had like three people, th three, three different people, right? Out, three clips. That's just three clips, three different clips of, of people talking about him biting them. And then there's a bunch of other clips of him just straight up assaulting his friends. Uh, throughout our relationship, I understood from our numerous conversations and text, ex text message exchanges on the subject that this behavior was consensual, playful, and reciprocally enjoyed. Um, I thought we just, I thought we just established that, uh, I, we weren't necessarily biting people in the form of abuse, but then you just said you were slobbish and selfish and mean and, uh, and other people were saying that you have bitten them and it's, it does not, after, after the fact that you made the whole thing about yourself, it doesn't make you look any better. I truly believe those, oh, I chose not to publish them and I emphasize my perspective is not shared to diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. Instead, I share it in the hope that I can offer a genuine, fair, relevant insight to my understanding of the situation. While I may perceive our interactions differently, I recognize that this person has processed and expressed feelings of hurt. I want to extend my sincerest apologies for any pain I have caused. Yeah, that's there's a problem with that because um, that's it took three paragraphs to get to the apology. Uh, yeah, there's some other uh, shit and blah. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, you guys could see the issue with that. I can see the issue with that. Uh, to make it about himself, and then to like, like, hey, uh, forget about it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I got this. I got this. Don't worry, guys. Uh, it kind of makes you look fucking. <laughs> it kind of makes you look guilty, <laughs> and uh, you're. It makes it seem like you're running around biting people. Uh, I really hope he is seeking help, and not the kind that allows him to just go out and meet people to bite more of them. Because realistically, I don't think he should be going around meeting new people anymore. Because uh, the the biting thing is pretty bad. And there's, again, there's even clips of him talking about, like, he threw a Technoblade. Uh, he threw an apple at Technoblade uh, after a surgery and hit him right in a, in his uh, scar. Like a surgical cut. Or he got stitched up. I can't think of the words because I'm dumb. Yeah. No, that's like, uh, that's not... It's not good. It's not good. I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Yeah, Wilbersoot is a fucking... What the fuck? What, what do you mean you're biting people? And then he admits to like, Hey, oh, I thought we could... I thought I could bite you. I thought I could bite... What, what do you mean I can't bite? Like, that's not like... Even if it's... There's no allegations of abuse. Uh, it's still fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm the fucking weirdo, but I still think this shit's pretty fucking weird. I got a Discord server link below if you guys want to check that out. We come out, we can play Hell Divers together. Whatever you want to do, hang out. It's just a chill space. We try to talk about current topics. Maybe maybe a little bit of juicy drama. We don't like to bring in drama though. Uh, subscribe, stick around. I got plenty more videos I am working on. Like if you like it, dislike it, dislike it. And I've been talking about Wilbur Sut, uh, being role playing as a fucking dog.